I made a, a video a while back uh, showing you how to spot outrageous claims on lithium-ion cells. Uh, the, the video's on the screen right now. Uh, obviously some uh, interest here that's legitimate, it's got half a million views. Um, and the advice was stick with the main manufacturers, uh, Sony, LG, Samsung and Panasonic. And here are two uh, NCR 18650Bs, except they ain't. One of them is and one of them isn't. I don't know if you can spot the difference. Uh, but I'll show you how to do that uh, with a momentary measurement. So come around here. Now one of the uh, more obvious ways you can spot a fake is if the price is too cheap. These are bought on uh, AliExpress. I can't show you the listing because uh, when I went to try and uh, look at it just now to get a screen grab they've, they've taken the listing down so I think uh, maybe others have complained. Uh, yeah but one of the ways is obviously the price. If the price is very cheap you need to be suspicious. Secondly uh, poor reviews and I have to say that this had these had five star reviews these cells um, and the other way is when you get them uh, visual check and test them now there are some visual checks you can make there's uh, a manufacturing code down here which should be compliant so I'm going to that in a second and uh, well the wrapper itself is that convincing enough as I say one of these is a fake and one of these is real um, Hard to tell, isn't it? Uh, what used to be a surefire way of finding counterfeits was to um, test the weight of them. And a lithium ion cell from Panasonic, this type of cell, it would be about 45 grams. And they're both 45 grams. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the manufacturing code. Um, This one is 6831. I have to get into Panasonic here. Panasonic 6831. That's August 2016. And this one 9208. I should be able to work it out really without doing this. 92. Oops. 92. Zero eight, and that's 8th of February 2019 so the codes are, are compliant and they certainly look the same um, so, so what can you do? Do you have to um, drain the cell completely? No you don't um, one of the uh, key markers on an NCI 18650B is the um, internal resistance. Now I've done a video on internal resistance, it's on the screen right now, please take a look. Um, it's a very important measurement for a number of reasons, but one of them is uh, to determine whether or not the cell is a genuine NCR 18650B. Now the, the internal resistance of one of these cells should be around about the 38 to 40 um, milliohms. So let's pop this on and see what we get. 70 0.5 milliohms. I think we've spotted the fake already, haven't we? And here we go, the other one, 37 milliohms. So this is the fake. Uh, can we see anything else which uh, might indicate? Yeah, I suppose you can, I don't know if you can see this here, uh, the, the uh, insulator uh, on the top here is cut very close to the uh, anode and you can see the anode disappears Further, it's, it's, it's a smaller diameter than this one here. Certainly, you can't see where, the, where it's connecting to the to the uh, aluminium, but um, it, it's a slightly different anode. But again, you know, you wouldn't spot this in a photograph. And who knows? The photographs on the listing might have been uh, photographs of genuine NCI 18650Bs. Um, so even if you were eagle-eyed enough to spot that difference, um, you know, perhaps the photograph wasn't a genuine photograph. So. Um, that's my guess. <laughs> let's, let's try and uh, drain the juice out of this. I'll use the uh, MC5000 because it's got nice pretty grass that it, it spits out. Oh, this is not going to reach. Is it going to reach? Oh, it's going to have to sit there. I hope you can see this. Uh, we'll pop it in here. Uh, let me get this on the screen. Give me a second. Okay, this is the MC3000. 
So there's a spider, dead spider in there. <laughs> so I haven't used this one for a while. Um, lithium ion discharge, as you can see on the screen, and we'll discharge it at 0.75 out. Now this thing should be able to discharge at something much higher than that. Uh, I charged these two cells I bought earlier on, as you can see on the screen. Uh, we'll give them the best chance of hitting uh, 3400 by doing 0.75 amps. That's a nice gentle and benign um, drain current. Uh, so we'll send that to the device. Click. Oof. And then we hit start on here. And at 0.75 that should be about four and a half hours. So I'll see you after the break. Like a warrior that fights and wins the battle I know the taste of victory Though when through some nights consumed by the shadows I was crippled emotionally yeah. Somehow I made it through the heartache Forty-nine milliamp hours. Well, what a load of rubbish! And I gave it the best shot at it at uh, three quarters of an amp and a cutoff of two point nine. Well, um, but let me remind you why I'm buying things like this. I do have suppliers, um, and you know you may think that the price of these things are cheap on AliExpress, but I do have suppliers sending me thousands of MCR eighteen six fifty Bs for about two two dollars twenty. Uh, a cell, so uh, you can get them cheap, and I'm always on the lookout for alternate suppliers uh, in case the supply line dries up from from other suppliers. It's a very fragile uh, chain, uh, the delivery and logistics of lithium iron cells, particularly genuine ones, NTI 18650Bs. Uh, it's a grey market because Panasonic don't like it, so they play whack-a-mole, things dry up and you have to switch to somebody else. So I'm always on the lookout scanning for other ones. So if you do find um, one of these listed for a few dollars. Don't, don't automatically discount it as a fake. Uh, it might be genuine, but just order one or two. Don't, don't order a, a bulk uh, uh, order of, of these cells. And your first test is to do a, uh, an internal resistance test and make sure, in the case of this cell, it's around about 37 to 40 milliamp hours. Now, uh, I wanted to show you the listing, but unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your point of view, um, AliExpress has taken the listing down. Uh, now, this is another problem. I can't leave poor feedback for these guys. The listing's disappeared. And that's the other side of this problem. It's not just these uh, rogue traders on AliExpress. It's AliExpress itself. It has a model where it, they make it very difficult for you to leave negative feedback. And that listing's gone. I can't leave negative feedback. But they've got other listings up purporting to have NCR 18650Bs. Uh, at a similar price in different quantities. So AliExpress is complicit in this and uh, hopefully, you know, with your eyes open you won't uh, fall into the same trap or if you do you'll limit your losses by ordering one or two before placing a bulk order. Anyway, hope that's been useful. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. All the best. Cheers.